Yeah, there's many ways in order for you to make some AI content online. Pick a labs, one of them. Well, I gotta be honest with you, it is hard to get inside of this. First of all, you gotta go over to the website, you gotta apply yourself, and then you are gonna go on the wait list. Usually it's like five to seven days. But the good news is that it's free and it always will be. You have to remove the watermark on each one of these videos, but I'm gonna show you how to do that as well. So first of all, just apply yourself. And this is how it's gonna look like once you get on the discord server now you do got to know that you can do this via website that is via the browser itself or you can just stick with discord whatever your choice but if you choose discord you have to answer a few simple questions for example fun work whatever you want to do click on next what is your profession video producer content creator whatever click on next which notifications would you like to receive no thank you none of them skip this of course agree to these things you know blah 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 finish and then you are ready this is how it looks like on the inside just like mid journey and all of these other things you can choose one of these generate channels whatever you want to do scroll down to the bottom but first of all we have to get the image that's what we're gonna do today we're gonna take the images and we're gonna make videos out of those images for creation of images you can use mid journey if you want to pay for it but if you don't want to pay for it leonardo.ai this is a really good tool which is free everyone is using it so you don't have to go over and spend money you don't have in order to start creating with some AI as you can see it really really looks good it's professional it has a lot of features you can pay for this as well but as you can see as you go inside you have these tokens which will regenerate each 24 hours and it's totally enough for us so this is what I was playing with and I'll just share this with you. You can use this prompt in Midjourney and in whichever one of these image generation tools you want. I don't know, Stable Diffusion, Leonardo, whatever you want to do. This is a really, really good prompt just because of this. So this is the camera which is like supposed to be used in order to create our image. It's a cool little trick and I suggest that you use it. Here's the reason why. Have a look at this down there. I just created this without using that camera thing. You know, so you can see it is good. It looks good, but it's not cinematic. And we want cinematic. As you can see, this is now what we're looking for. Have a look at this. This is a really good thing. For example, I like this one the most. Let me just show you. You can unzoom this image so it just expands a little bit more. Really good one. It's just like from a certain samurai movie. It's a really good thing. Let me just show you how this can be done in a certain niche. I don't know, maybe I'll just use the model Absolute Reality. This is the best one. Or maybe this photo reel is also good. All you gotta do is to copy and paste this prompt. Just pause the video, click on the generate and you will get three images if you select three if you select four four you know how it goes okay the next step is going over to pika i will take this image as a reference i will just download this to my computer and then i go over to pika right go here just type in create so slash create and then they will ask you for a prompt but of course you just click on plus one more and then click here on the image and then just drop that image now we go over to the prompt this is where you select what kind of this video is going to be so this is what i like to do i like to type in slow motion you know i like slow motion figures i like slow motion cinematic things that can be done with this now you, we can see that there's a light in the background if it's clouds you know you can just add certain like slight cloud movements or in this case where we have a light behind the subject we can just type it like this slight light flickering in the background because we have that in the image already so this is going to be really good now comes the camera parts in order to play with the camera you just have to type camera and then you can just go and type in pan and for example if you want it from left to right you just type in right this is panning camera to the right. Now you can do it like right up, you can do it like right down or left up, whatever you wanna do. And you can as well go with the zoom, you know, camera zoom out, camera zoom in, or you can even go with rotation. So camera rotate clockwise, you know. So you can just do, you can play with this like in so many ways, it's such a good tool to use. So what I'm gonna use now is just camera pan right. Now, we come to the negative prompt, and I know that there's 
ton of people out there that are scared to use negative prompt. But this is the way. You just go and you type in neg. So neg means that whatever you don't want your image, your video to consist of, whatever you don't want to see in your image, you have to type it in there. So for example, I'll just go with my usual negative prompt and I'll just put that down in the description for you to use. But this is the one. I'll just paste it. So I don't like morphin. I don't like it to be like noisy, bad quality, distorted image, poorly drawn, blurry, grainy, low resolution, oversaturated, and all of these things. So this is the whole prompt that we need to use in order to generate this video. Now we just have to send this command. And of course, after, I don't know, maybe 30 seconds, it's going to be done. It's a really good tool. Let me just show you the result. Now, before I show you the result, I got to tell you that you can do all of this inside of your web browser. I told you that you can just go over and you can just put that image in here through the website. All right. And you can just describe your story wherever. But let's go back to our Pika generator inside of Discord. And here it is. Here is our result. And well, let me just play for you. Let's see. Let's just do it one more time. As you can see, I don't see the light flickering that much, but I can see my person is moving. Also, the eyes. It's a really good thing. I mean, this was a picture a minute ago. Just think about it, right? It's a really, really, really good thing. Now, you can expand this. You can make it longer. You can make it shorter, whatever. And what people usually do with this one, they make Instagram theme pages based on something like this. Then they just go over and put certain captions on CapCut or Premiere Pro or Canva.com. They just put a certain quote over it and then just make Instagram theme page and make a lot of money with it. So that's what you can do as well. Or you can just, I don't know, sell this to other people who are doing that. But this is what we need to remove, this Pika Labs here. In order to do that, you have to download this video. And that is done by clicking here. And as you can see, download. It's going to go over to your computer and then it's time for this website. It's called Wondershare PixCut. Wondershare PixCut has image background removers. It has a lot of these other tools, but this is the one that we need. Remove Watermark. Remove Watermark is a tool that, well, hence the name, it's just going to remove the watermark. What do you got to do? You have to upload that video. Once it's done, usually you will have this brush and whatever you just go over with this brush, it's not going to be always perfect, but whatever you do with this brush, well, it's going to be deleted. All right. So then you just go with this brush, do it like this and Pika Labs is going to be removed. Just click on remove objects now here in the bottom right. It's going to take a few seconds, not too long. Yeah, I know Pika Labs has watermarks. It's maybe the only downside of it, but it's free, you know, so you can't complain. And yeah, I was telling you about these websites that make money over it. Well, just have a look at this one. It has a lot of followers. They just put a certain quote over it. As you can see, they make like these little videos and then just caption over it. There's one more. This one has 1 million followers and they do the exact same thing. This is all created with AI. But then again, there's a lot of people who are doing it just with quotes like this. So you can imagine what your website with Picolabs can do. And that's it. That's the whole thing. It's not hard. But of course, whatever you do, you have to be consistent and you have to work hard at it. You know, you have to dedicate yourself. If you want to run an Instagram theme page, prepare for a lot of fails. You know, you have to invest a lot of time and effort. So if you just want to do freelancing with this one, maybe it's going to be easier for you. Anyways, wish you good luck and I'll catch you next time.